Hello, friends. It's Mr. Rogers here, and I hope you guys have had a fantastic day so far. We are going to go over <clears throat> two different uh, punnet squares really quick. Uh, both punnet squares are probably uh, the most challenging punnet squares you did in 10th grade. And for us, you know, we're going to make them a little bit harder with the questions. But um, if you get the general idea, it shouldn't be too bad. So the first one is blood typing. So blood typing is actually um, codominance. And we're only going to blood type humans. Um, different animals have different blood typing rules and whatnot. So um, we could do more, but most of the questions are just humans based. So for humans, there is three different alleles. There is A, B, and O. And there's two different ways of doing it. Uh, there's the German way, which is the right way of doing blood types, which the alleles are technically I, big A, I, big B, and I. I refers... Uh, all these refer to what the actual thing is, and these are what there is. O is technically nothing. So when we're talking about these blood types, what we're referring to is what the proteins are on the outside. A's make A proteins. B makes B. Obviously, they're not shaped like B's. And O's make nothing. So if you're O blood type, your red blood cells have no markings on the outside. If you're A, they all have A's. Okay. If you have B blood type, uh, you will have Bs, that type of thing. Okay, um, So that's what's going on there. So this is the German way of doing it. This is the right way of doing uh, these punnet squares and showing the alleles. The way that's the cheat is just using what I drew up here. Instead of using IA, just use A. Instead of IB, just use B. So I'm going to do two different ways. So say I... Uh, Someone is I, A, I, which means they're A blood type with O. So they will have both A markers and O non-existent markers. So a little bit of both because it's codominance. They both show, right? They both are there. They have a ch child with someone that is I, B, I, B. And we go through this person only has b markers in their blood so we go through and we find out that should be 50 percent b 50 percent a b blood yep oh, i should probably put eyes here sorry for eyes so that is the real way of doing it the german way of doing it Okay, we're talking about codominance here, so both of them show again, right? So this is A, B. They're both going to have A and B markers. This one's just going to have B markers and O markers, but we call it B blood. Okay. If I do it the other way, say someone has A, O blood again, I'll put A, O like this, and I'm mixing it with someone that has O blood, but I'll just do two O's. That's the other way of doing it. It's not official. No one's going to really want you to do this like in an official paper or anything. But if you're just doing it for homework or something, it's quick. It's easy. It gets the job done. You don't get confused with the eyes and everything like that. So in this case, AO blood mixes with some of O blood. Gives me 50% A blood type, 50% O blood type. Okay. Um, I always get asked about the negative and positive. That's a completely different Punnett square. That's your RH. RH gives you either positive or negative. And that's just a typical um, regular Punnett square. So say the dad is positive. We'll say the positive is big A and the recessive is little a. Dad is positive. It's big A. Say he's heterozygous and the mom is negative. Then we can figure out Okay, there's a 50% chance that the baby will be negative, 50% chance the baby will be positive. 
Um, positive is slightly more because it's dominant out there in the public, but negative is probably one of the more famous ones. Cool. So this is blood typing, co-dominance. They both show. Okay. Uh, most of the questions, they love asking questions or people love asking questions that are, um, say this one, they'll be like, Susie and Bill are, Bill is IAI blood type and Susie is IBIB blood type and they have a baby that's O blood type. Is it Bill's baby? Then you do this Punnett square and sadly it's like a show of Jerry Springer and you, you say no. There's no way that those two could have an O blood type baby. Now, the next one we're going to talk about today and look over is sex linked. Sex linked refers to the sex chromosomes. And it's mostly X. So the X and Y chromosomes have chromosomes or genes on them that are related to other things besides just the reproduction and more so in the X chromosome, the Y chromosome only has one allele besides, but you could still do sex link with that one. Um, but the X chromosome is mostly going to be what we're used here. So this becomes a whole thing of, um, we have to figure out the sex of, a, of the person while doing the Punnett square, because that matters in this. We'll show why in a second. So first, just so we remember, XX equals female, XY equals male. Okay, so we'll say that a person, um, the male, is not colorblind. Colorblind's a big one you always do, so he's X, big A, Y. And a female is a carrier for colorblind. So she is x big a x little a so she doesn't have color blindness but she carries it okay now if you actually do the punnett square one you'll find out exactly why it's 50 50 why we have boys and girls because half the punnett squares is a girl light one out give me a second half the punnett square is a girl and half is a guy Now, what you notice here is the Y chromosome doesn't have that allele, doesn't have a gene, so you just give the Y chromosome. So this half right here is a guy. This half right here is a girl. And you also notice that even though nobody was colorblind here, because the guy only gives the Y gene, that that X little A plays a big role in the guy. So even though no one was colorblind here, 25% of the offspring and 50% if it's a boy is colorblind. So that's where you need to be careful with these kind of questions. Sometimes they'll ask you what percentage of boys are colorblind. That would be 50% here. It's one of two. Or they'll say how many percentage of the whole uh, offspring are colorblind. That'd be 25%. So let's do another one. Uh, we'll say, the dad is hemophilia, and the mom does not. X big H, X big H. So we go through, even though the dad is hemophilic, since the mom's not a carrier, none of the girls will have it. And because the dad only gives the Y, The, none of the boys will have it. So the trait is actually not passed on. They only make carriers. So carriers play a bigger role in sex linked because as a female, you're more likely to give that X little H. Um, it's actually kind of a, a big deal that it's only the moms that give mostly, um, especially towards the guys, their, their problems with their sex linked. Um, there's a lot of guilt there. Like there's a lot of disorders in the X chromosome and like I'm colorblind. And my mom always feels bad that like I got it from her. It's from her. She's a carrier for it. She can see fine. Um, so uh, 
a lot of different things that are mostly guy related are linked to the X chromosome. So there's been attempts to find the autism gene of the X chromosome, ADHD, stuff like that, because it's only, it's not only, it mostly affects guys. And so they're, they're looking for that there because again, guys are more likely just to have it because of this. Um, but that comes from the female. So it's kind of interesting. Um, let's do one more just to make sure we got this. So we'll do X, little a, we'll do color blindness again. And we'll do X, big A, X, little a. So mom's a carrier, dad's colorblind. This is when they can officially have a daughter that is colorblind. They make a daughter that is a carrier, and then a son that is not colorblind, and then a son that could be colorblind, or is colorblind, okay? So what I'm trying to get at here is it really comes down to where this traits are. If it's on the guy, then the guy can't give it to any of his sons. If it's on a female, then it could be either one. Okay. Now, for a female to get one of these traits, both parents have to, one has to have it, and the other one has to be a carrier or have it. For the guy to have it, the mom's going to have to be a carrier or have the trait, not the dad. So this is sex link. So these are the two we're doing today. If you need some help, let me know. Um, they're a little bit trickier. Like I said, they have like little weird stipulations, but sex link, blood typing. Good luck. If you need help, get a hold of me.